everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute. Today is part two of how to use the RMT Club to gain more speed and power in your golf swing. And I tell you what, this thing is, is, will not disappoint you. And today is gonna be a lot of fun because we're gonna work on the striking element of using the RMT Club. And I have a tire back here. I'm gonna show you all kind of fun stuff that you can do with this. So let's get going. All right, I'm gonna show you how to use the RMT club by using the striking of, of an object to gain more power and speed in your golf swing. I've got a tire, it's about 85 pounds. You could use a boxing bag, you could use seat covers, anything. You can actually hit the ground too. This thing's, indes I wouldn't say indestructible, but it seems like it to me. I've been hitting everything, the ground with it, pavement, and this thing's, it's meant to take a beating. It's, it's designed for it. So the striking element with this is different than using a sledgehammer. It's so different, because I've, I've used sledgehammers for years and I love that part of it, but this is different with the weighting in the, the, weighting in the head. All right, so the first one I like doing, I'm gonna turn my hat around here so I don't knock it off. All right, so I get in the golf stance, I'm gonna go back turn, and I'm gonna boom, hit like that. And when I do this, I can feel my legs, the ground force driving into it and turning, and my hands are staying ahead. They're not flipping, so I got a descension, a downward angle of attack, which is important in the iron. So, from the side here, down the line, boom, bam, bam, okay? And I can feel it. Now, here's what's cool about this. You wanna use the non-dominant side for gaining speed and strength also in this. So you'll wanna do it left-handed. So you wanna do, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna do my other side. So I'm gonna hit it here, boom, boom, boom. And that way, I'm telling you, the non-dominant side training is so important. Do not neglect that. You wanna get both sides equally balanced out and it's gonna give you more strength and power and more club head speed. All right, the next one I love doing, samurai squats. Just a couple of different variations. I'll start out with the easiest and then I'll show you the rotational part of the shoulders, okay? So with this, get it behind the neck, I mean behind my shoulder blades. You can see it's right in between, okay? And then I'm gonna go down and hit it, hit the tire. Boom, boom. And then come back up. I tell you, that's just, it's fun. <laughs> I enjoy that. <clears throat> so from this side here, so you see it, let's scoot it up a little bit. Okay, and that's the samurai squat. All right, now if you wanna make a variation of that, then you can do the rotational part, which is this, where you can go like, swing it back, and then squat, swing it back the other way, squat, swing it back. Now, you're working shoulders, flexibility, strengthening out the thoracic, the squat, your hip flexors, also coordination, because you got more than one thing going on at once, and believe me, I made that look somewhat easy. It took me a while. <laughs> I've made all kinds of mistakes with it. So you just rewind this, watch it, know it's gonna take a little bit to learn it, but it is worth learning. I tell you what, I have definitely increased my flexibility and mobility in my golf swing, feel stronger. I mean, that's why I'm so passionate about this. All right, now I'm gonna try this one. This one's tough, you know, and you could, you could beat it with the ground too. I'll show you with the, the ground, you can do it. And I'll move the tire now, show you how you can do it with a tire. But what you could do is, uh, let me move that. All right, so here we go. Uh, what I'm gonna basically do is I'm gonna swing it this way, go down, go there, and then jump around and do the same thing, and I'll do jumps, okay? So here it goes. Switch it. You can do all kinds of variations, but again, that gets metabolic. You're using this part. You're having to think about, you know, it's just the flow of your body working together. Uh, you can do that with a tire, strike the tire. It's even more intense with a tire, but you could look something like this. So you could go like this, boom, boom, and then switch around, bam. Switch it back, switch this way, bam. Okay, a little different with a tire versus a surface, 
but I've done this on my driveway, it works. Um, the striking element is different than the other accelerate to decelerate or windmills or under figure eights, but it's, I tell you what, it's got its purpose and uh, your core, your hip flexors, shoulders, and just all oh, your coordination. I mean, that's what we need in golf is better coordination and our body working together in harmony. So those are some of the striking exercises you can do with the RMT and they are a lot of fun. All right, as you can see, I have a lot of fun with the striking part using the RMT club. It's just a lot of fun. It's a, like I said, it's, it's different than the sledgehammer and it has its benefits for giving us more, you know, balance in our golf swing, speed, uh, control, power, all those great things. So I'll tell you what, if you like this video, please subscribe, like, share it with your friends, hit that notification button. And part three is gonna be really fun where I'll show you how I warm up every day with using this before I'll get into some of the movements and I'm gonna give you some other things you can put into your interval training that's great for rotational. I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You're gonna have to stay tuned for it, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we have a Patreon link down below. Make sure to check that out to support BGI. And we really appreciate all our great subscribers and followers at the BGI YouTube channel. And we'll see you in part three.